Hi, this is Srinivas Tamada, founder of Nylacin.info. This video is about how to host your Angular and React project on uh, GitHub. It's a 30 minutes uh, step to do that. Like, let's start uh, doing it because GitHub has no restrictions for no bandwidth size uh, restrictions. So you can happily host your Angular project or React project and you can reduce your hosting cost. So let's quickly start that project, like go to log into your uh, GitHub and create a new repository. So I'm going to name it as like hosting. And then like, you know, website hosting, I just gave the description. And you have to choose the public now. Uh, this will not support the private repositories. Choose the public. And if you want to add some readme file, you can initiate this or I'll just ignore this. And now create a repository. Yeah, then up now the repository got created. And then I'm going to create a small index file. So go to the add new file and create like index.html. This is just for testing. You can create a simple HTML file for generating this. Uh, I'm just going to use the visual code to make it a little quicker. So I'm just generating HTML file code just copy pasting it here and i'm just adding like you know some h1 tag called like you know posting on github so this is my title now so just add some comment like you know index.html and, and add some comment like you know i'm just adding now like my first comment so just create a file this is going to create a file here so it's called index.html got created. So if you want to add some more, like, you know, you can create a CSS as well. Like, I'm just adding a style.css and then I just created a h1. So I'm going to give a h1 tag, like, you know, the text align. I'm going to give some margin top 30 px. So that's it. If you want, you can give some font family to customize more. So I'm just giving Arial right now. The same thing like style. So it got connected. So we need to connect this style.css to this. Then open this and you can edit if you want. And I'm just linking that file here. Link and style sheet. So now this is uh, this is ready. Like we are going to display hosting on GitHub. That's it. Now let's connect this repository with your domain. So let's go to the settings and so scroll down. You'll find the GitHub pages, and here you choose the master branch, and then. This is a root folder and then save it. So once you saved it, you will find another option called a custom domain. Here you can add your domain like your domain.com. So, but in my case, I'm going to give like, you know, host lessons.info. So I hosted one of the project like github.9lesson.info. So this is a completely Ionic app and it is actually connecting with APIs. So everything is like hosted on GitHub. But if you see the network calls, you see all the live actions. I mean, the actual endpoints it's connected. So you can host entire application like this. So let's connect this HTML page here. So you can just give save. And it will give you some instructions like, you know, uh, what, what is the CNAME record for your uh, domain. So I'm just adding this host, it's my subdomain, just save it. So I'm just copying this. I mean, my, I think basically this is going to be changed. Basically, this is your username of your GitHub. So just copy that. So I connected all my domain things in the Cloudflare. I think I... I've written an article like how to connect your domain with a free SSL with the Cloudflare. And this is giving a lot of best options and you can explore this article. 
So I connected everything here. So here you can add the new domain like CNAME record. And then uh, just target is this GitHub and give your name called host. And then you can choose and save it. That's it. And because it's uh, Cloudflare, try to disable this proxy. If you see my records for uh, host, I already added it and I disabled the uh, and proxy because this one is actually caching by the Cloudflare. But if you are using a GoDaddy or something, you can directly add the CNAME record like this. So, and then uh, it's pretty much done. So let's try to hit the URL called. This will take some 30 to 15 minutes, like host.9lesson.info. Let's see, it's got connected with this change. And let me go back here, see, and what, what are the exact HTML, what we added that comes up when we hit this. And let me edit if you want, like update. And again, I'm just counting it. That's it. And this will take a few minutes to reflect. And basically, GitHub is going to send you some notifications as well, like, you know, if, if this change got replicated. So this comes up here automatically. If you see here, uh, this will take some two to three minutes to come up. So this is how you can host your static HTML pages. And now I'm going to host the Angular project. So Angular or React project, let me create an Angular project like ng new some hosting angular so before that install the ng for ang angular cli so i'm just creating angular project here and the same way i'm going to create a react project as well i'm just going to give this hosting and react this is another command this is you need a create react app to generate this problem. So I'm just going to try both of them to how to host these things directly on the same domain. Yeah, Angular dot uh, came up, so let's go to the first thing, Angular. So once this is done, we'll try for the React one, it's keep going. So, so this is the, uh, the code basically to generate. So you'll see all the commands here to generate. So. Let's see what is there in this, uh, like, you know, and so, yeah, this has got compiled, so let's see what is exactly there in the local host, go to zero. So this is what basically Angular will give you with the basic template and everything. So this exact output we posted here. So let's close this and we have a command called ng build and uh, rod. So this is going to uh, create a production output. So if you look at that, uh, this got done. So it's going to create a DIST, it's called distribution folder. So these are the files we're going to host directly on the GitHub. So the best thing is uh, to use the GitHub commands. This is manually we did because it's two files, but instead like go to the hosting, you'll get the clone uh, URL. So just copy that. And so in the same location, like I'm just coming out and git clone the repository. And here is the CD hosting, is the my repository. So this is what the files I have. So right now I'm going to replace with uh, new DIST files. So let's go to the project directory. So, and this is the Angular hosting and we got created a DIST folder and the hosting. So I'm just copy everything and going back to the hosting folder and just replacing it. Yeah, basically uh, you can just ignore these things and you can delete off everything next time. So now I copied everything. So let's go to the GitHub. So get status, you will see all new files we added and we replace one of the index and I'm adding git add everything so git status you will see 
everything will become green and let me make it big and get comment and I'm going to give angular closet and git push so if you now the github is updated with uh, latest ones so once you refresh uh, the post URL this will take again two three minutes to uh, do it uh, if you look at this after a couple of refresh so yeah this is how you can uh, host your angular application and next time if you do some changes in the angular you follow the same step you add everything and ng build and copy paste everything to replace it so best thing is like go to the folder uh, next time if you do it go to hosting ignore these two and delete it off everything and copy paste the new ones so that way you can do it now let's try to uh, replace with uh, react one so this is the okay, let's go this is the react one so cd hosting react so let's open this with the visual code and here you'll find all the comments again so let's uh, see what is exactly the output is like npm start here so this will run at localhost 3000 so this is a simple react app with a small icon they're doing it's a startup icon uh, so this is what the exact ex output we can expect here so let me do the same step uh, but here is the let, let's kill this one and like the command called like ng build so this basically figures the react script so i'm giving npm run build In the same way like how angular got created a disk folder but here uh, react is going to create a build folder so the same way how angular generated a files react also going to generate the same kind of static files so let's see what is there inside so if you see these are the files that got generated and the same uh, rule i'm following uh, let's go to the react project and go to the build and just copy everything and go to the hosting and this time i'm going to leave these things delete it off everything and then i'm pasting all the react related files and going back to the hosting and the same thing it's straight as you will see we all deleted the angular ones we are adding the react ones now the same command add and get comment is a command react project and get push that's it uh, so we hosted uh, react as well now so let's see uh, if this got replicated with uh, react files let's see all the things came up here and the same thing if you refresh this the react project came up so no uh, restriction from the github side because i i hosted i posted a few articles about firebase but firebase has uh, limitations for the monthly bandwidth but GitHub is not uh, asking anything, so I would I would prefer host your applications on the GitHub. That is the best way. And so the same thing I hosted one of my uh, you know the Ionic application here. You can just log out, log in, uh, and you can log out. You can try this uh, username like Srinivas and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and you can log in and you can explore things like, you know, how the, it's kind of a to-do list, so basically. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching my videos.